Hey everyone, in this video we're going to cover the many different types of screeners you can find on the Unusual Whales platform. Start us off, the stock screener. The stock screener feed will display some preliminary data in the columns about any given stock from the trading price, the percent change on the day, the daily volume versus average volume, as well as various information about the options premiums. You can display all of these columns at once, like so. Or you can narrow the feed down to display select data. For example, you can have the screener display only the volume in the underlying stock, along with the information like the 52-week range and the percent change in price. The filters on the side here, much like the options flow feed, can be used to narrow down this feed to just the information you'd like. For example, if I don't want to have ETFs or indices in this filter, I can click both of those off and they'll no longer show up in our screener feed. Likewise, you can change the ranges of volume in the options narrow it down to call and put volume. You can even come down here and narrow things down by net premium. So if you want net premium as a whole to be negative, you could type in negative, say, 5 million to only positive 10 million. You can also narrow things down by the open interest and the underlying stock information, such as a range for the stock price, the stock volume, the percent change the stock has experienced on the current day, market cap, you can even select which sectors you want to look at. One thing a lot of folks like to do with these screeners is narrow things down to get rid of some of the big noisy names. So for example, if I want to see this same information but don't want to worry about seeing massive names like Tesla or Apple or Nvidia, you can go ahead and just type those in here just like you can on the flow feed to omit any tickers that you don't want to appear in this feed. From here on another iteration of the stock screener here under stocks, you can also view a watch list I'm a fan of called Volume Movers. It's not dissimilar to the most active feed, only the Volume Movers feed includes higher than average daily volume in tandem with a large swing in the underlying stock price. Here we see ticker MTTR has an average volume of 2.63 million, but today, their volume is almost 50 million, in addition to a 178% increase in the stock price. That might be some cause for some more research. Why is it so high? From here, we'll move on to the sectors screener feed. In the sectors screener feed, you can pick any sector you'd like. Right now, we're looking at cybersecurity, but let's say we want to take a look at how things in consumer defensive are working. Now our feed only displays those tickers that are involved in consumer defensive, such as Walmart, Costco, Procter Gamble. Now from here, we'll sort by the percent change descending. Of consumer defensive, Procter & Gamble has the highest percent change on the day at 1.71%. Well, let's look at oil now. Of all tickers involved in the oil sector, YPF has the highest percent change of 6.18%. Their volume is a little over half their average 30-day volume, but at the time of this recording, we're about halfway through the trading day, so that's about on par for course. And like I said, you can look at any sector you would like here. You can even look at the pre-market and post-market changes. Should the market close and you're following a couple of companies, say they have earnings coming up and you want to see how they perform in the aftermarket, you can click post. The same goes for the morning before market opens with pre. 
From within our screeners pages, we can also visit our stock and options watch lists. To add a ticker to your watch list, you can do so directly from the ticker overview by clicking on that ticker link, add to watch list. And if you already have pre-existing watch lists, you can add it to those, which we'll do here, or you can even create a new watch list. Then back in our screeners page, we can go straight to stock watch list and see all the tickers we have in that watch list. So here's the new one we just created. Here's an older one that I've got preloaded. And you can monitor all of these at any given time. You can even add new tickers to your watch list above. Now that we've got our watch list saved, we can load it directly into the stock screener page. Now we have only our watch list displaying in the screener. From here, we can further narrow down the data. For example, those who sell option premiums may be most interested in volatility. So in our screener, we'll select volatility. Now our screener displays the implied move, volatility percentage, and the IV rank for the tickers only in our watch list. From here, sorting by IV rank descending can help us determine which stocks may be primed to sell some premium. Here we've got NVIDIA, Tesla, and CAT, all with around 50% or more volatility. NVIDIA and Tesla both have an IV rank of 100 the highest it can go. So this might be a good place for those who sell options to start. Now from here, there are two other pages within the screeners that can be very helpful for both investors and traders alike, performance and seasonality. The seasonality screener allows you to view a stock's performance on a month to month basis. Currently, we can see that Microsoft MSFT at the top here has an average April return of 4.31%, a maximum return of 19.80%, and a minimum return of negative 10.3%. The current April return for 2024 in the month percent column, however, is negative 5.4%, a bit off schedule there compared to historical data. You can also view these average minimum and maximum performance for other months using the drop down. Now, the performance tab gives a more in depth perspective on each stock's performance, allowing you to view the performance of a stock over more time ranges from one day all the way up to the five year performance. And again, you can organize all of these columns however you'd like. Now, if you want to see who has had the highest one week return, here we can see that WISA has with a massive return of almost 31,000%. Who's had the highest one year return? SKYE with a one year return of 101.6,000. And both of those examples appear to be from the health care sector, which can have a lot of volatility. All right, everyone, that's it for me on this screeners video. I hope this helps out and we'll catch you on the next Unusual Whales platform video.